I was watching Blender Guru's most recent video this week and he mentioned that despite using Blender for well over a decade, he's only just discovered that holding down control between clicks selects a path of edges. Blender's packed with so many little features like this, even seasoned pros don't know all of them. So here are six of my favourite time-saving Blender hacks. You can constrain an object to any axis when you're in the grab mode just by holding down the middle mouse button. You'll see that you'll get this white line and whichever axis the white line is nearest to, that's the axis that your object will move on. If you leave go of the middle mouse button, then you will stay on the axis you were on at the time. If you want to switch, just hold it down again and you can move to a different one and then left click to confirm. You can quickly apply a subdivision surface modifier to your object by holding down control and pressing one. If you press one of the other buttons all the way up to five, it will add different levels of subdivision. If you want to toggle the effect off, then you can hold down control and press zero. And then of course you can do it again and go back to different levels of subdivision. The knife tool has some quite handy features. If you're making a cut and you press the C button, then it will constrain to 45 degrees. So if you want to make a 45 degree perfect cut, then you can do it like this. Normally if we make this cut, it will only apply it to one edge. It won't go all the way through. However, what you can do when you're in knife mode, if you just press Z, then you can make that cut and it will go all the way through. I think most of us use the mirror modifier all the time, but it is quite a long winded process. You have to go into the front view, switch to edit mode, wireframe, select half your mesh, delete the verts, add the mirror modifier, and then turn on clipping before you can even start modeling. Instead of that, there is an easier way. There's an add-on called Auto Mirror. It comes with Blender as standard, but you do have to go into the preferences and turn it on. With Auto Mirror, all I have to do is go to the Edit tab, Auto Mirror, press this, and it'll automatically apply our mirror. You can even toggle it so when you apply the mirror, it'll automatically go into edit mode. What you can also do with this is you can set it as a quick function, so it's just a one-click thing, and you're straight into modeling. It can be sometimes difficult to gauge how blown out your image is. It's easy to make lights too bright, or depending on the type of monitor setup you have, a render that looks okay to you might look bad to everybody else. The easy way to make sure that you aren't over or underexposed is to go to the rendering panel, open color management, and change the view transform from filmic to false color. Straight away here, you'll be able to see that any red values are way too blown out, and any purple values are probably too dark. If you know any Blender related tips that aren't on this list, please leave them in the comments because I'd love to hear them and I'm sure that other people would appreciate it too. It's also worth mentioning that I now have an account on Patreon where I'm going to be posting all sorts of exclusive materials, assets, tutorials and other Blender related stuff every month. If you want to get your hands on that or you just want to support this channel, you should check out the link which I'll put in the description.